That works. That was pretty good. Hello, 大家早安。那晚安，晚安。Good evening. 我是穆老师。Ah,、uh, we got some、uh, some more words for you. We、uh, I tried to get this one to be only seven more, so the second group will be our traditional twenty-five vocabulary words long. Well, guess what? It's twenty-six. Nothing I can do about it. This one, the theme is to tell time. To tell time. So if you're a time lord, listen up. You're gonna need this video for Mandarin to tell time.、Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna be learning some good ones. The first one we're gonna learn is 再见再见再见 means goodbye. 再见 means goodbye. 再 two fourth tones. 再 is again. That's what it means. 见 means to see. Again, see. 再见 Goodbye. Yeah, I had to teach you that word, and I wanted to get it in the first fifty, so it ended up being the first fifty-one. Too bad. Had to teach it. 再见再见 Goodbye. 再见 The next one is going to be. 现在现在现在 means right now or now. 你现在要去学校吗 ？You right now want to go to the school? 对，我现在要去学校。Yes, I want right now to go to the school. 现在 ，right now. La 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. The next one we're going to learn is, and this one I had to think a little bit to tell you, teach you how to say it. The next one is "din," san shang third tone "din." You know how when we write in English, when we write the time, we go like six colon o'clock. Whenever you in 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 Chinese, you actually you say the colon. The best way I could describe it. So, if you were to tell somebody that it's six o'clock, you could say "liu" for six. Remember that "liu dian," six colon. You don't have to say the two zeros. In English, you can say it's six. You can technically say that in Chinese, but they really don't get the same thing out of context. Tama de shiguan yong yu. Their their way of saying it is to say six and then dian. So did just think of it as the spoken colon when you're telling somebody what time it is, or when you're reading the time.、All、right. So seven o'clock would be chi did, chi did. Um, which brings me to my next word, which is um how to say o'clock. O'clock. O'clock is zhong. Zhong literally means clock. So instead of saying o'clock like we would say in Middle English, they just say clock. So that means you could say 六点 for six o'clock, 六点 or you could say 六点钟六点钟 You can say the o'clock, or you can say the clock at the end. 六点 six colon 六点钟 six colon o'clock. Make sense? That did. If you were to ask somebody what time it is,、uh, and we'll we'll focus on this on this vocabulary word later. But ji dian zhong ji is like how many dian is that is that、uh, spoken kind of colon that you see having to do with time zhong ji dian zhong is saying what time is it ji dian zhong what time is it ji dian zhong. Next word we're going to learn is a word that you are going to learn use way more than when you're just telling time. It is the general qualifier. 
because now we're talking about amounts. We've learned our, our numbers, and whenever you're talking about the number of something or the amount of something, you would say the number, and you would have to you would need to use the qualifier for that specific thing. Uh, so if you were going to say um, uh, three friends, san ge peng yo, san ge peng yo. G is the general qualifier. There are a lot of qualifiers in Chinese. Like, there's qualifiers for long cylindrical things. There's qualifiers for, like, books. And one of the ways that native Chinese speakers can tell that, oh, this is somebody who's just learning Chinese, besides just looking at your face, is that you don't know all of the, all of the most well-used qualifiers. We'll learn those later. For now, just learn go. Like, for instance, if you say three books, you don't say sangushu. You can. You can. It's, but they, Chinese people are like, oh, you must just be learning, or she must just be learning, because the qualifier for books are ben. San ben shu. Uh, I think the qualifier for, like, a mountain is zuo. If you're going to say three mountains, san zuo, I mean, san zuo shan. So there's a lot of qualifiers out there for different classes of things, different way the way things look. Like animals, it's zhi, first tone zhi, like liu zhi go, six dogs, liu zhi bao. But we're just gonna learn we're just gonna learn go. That was a long winded explanation, but we needed it. Okay, go. So now that we've learned go, we can move on to the next one, which is going to be our. H-O-U-R. If you wanted to tell somebody uh, three hours, you would say san, ge, shao shi. Shao shi is the next vocabulary for hour. Shao shi. Okay. San ge shao shi. Si ge shao shi, four hours. Let's learn another measurement of time. We got hour, let's learn minute. A minute is a funjong. Funjong. It's got the same clock jong, but the fun is uh, it means a part. A piece apart. Funjong minute. Next one. Shijian. Shijian, maybe I should have put this one at the very top. Shijian means time. So yeah, I could ask you, Niyo Shijian ma? you have time? Wo mei Shijian, I do not have time. Wo mei Shijian, I do not have time. Oh, okay. Shijian, time. We've learned to say, Zai Jian. Bye, Zai Jian. We've learned to say, Xian Zai. We've learned to say that spoken uh, colon when you tell time. Dian. We've learned to say zhong for a clock. We've learned to say xiao shi. We've learned to say ge. Ge for the general qualifier. So like san ge xiao shi, si ge xiao shi, san ge ren. Three people heavily used. Ge. Next one is xiao shi for hour. Then fun zhong for minute, and then shi jian for time, and I think we got it, right? Okay, if you have any comments, put it in the comments section. If you don't, don't put any comments. It's all right, either way. Okay, and we're going to use the, one of our new vocabulary words when this time I sign off and I say, 我是穆老师, 再见。